Hi everybody, sorry we're a little bit late starting today. We had a few kind of problems with the phone there. It's all right, Adrian to the rescue as usual. So we're back today, we've got Chris here. We're gonna be fixing this wonderful bike here. And this is Danny, who has brought his bike over for us to, um, to have a wee look at today and see what we can do. So with, I'll hand you over straight to Chris now, okay? Hi, Ak. Today we're going to be having a look at uh, your back derailleur and if you're having issues with changing gears or your chain slipping between gears and things like that. So in order to do that, your back derailleur's here. Uh, you've also got your front derailleur for your front gears up here at the front. We'll have a look at them both today and tell you you can sort out the issues with your gears not changing properly and things like that. Everybody remember just to comment and you'll be in the draw for a free helmet. Yep, remember. Uh, the more comments you make, the more chance you've got your name getting picked yep. out. So, good luck to everybody who comments. Um, so, what's been up there, Danny, when you're changing gear? Uh, it's the three lowest gears on the back. Up here. On the back wheel, yeah. When you keep coming down, uh, it goes into gear, but it's it's not quite in gear right. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it skips out of gear. Right, so that'll be a usually a issue with your day-to-day level. We'll have a wee look and see if we can do it. Now, obviously, normally when I'm doing this sort of stuff, I would put the bike on a stand at work, although we understand that at home people don't have a bike stand and stuff like that that you get in a bike shop. So, I'm going to show you how you can do it without a bike stand. Now, first of all, I'm going to have a wee look and see what we're up to. So, if I pedal, would you mind changing between those top gears and let us have a look? Hang on. So I think the advice here, guys, is you need a friend. Yeah, I think uh, I'll get a, a hand. Don't we all? We all need a friend. <laughs> right, so I'll come, come down first. Uh, or up, whatever you do. Right, I'll go, I'll go up first, right? Yeah. Right. So it usually changes up, okay? Yeah. And go up again. Yeah. So it's usually not too much a problem going up, but uh -huh. now I'm going to come down. That usually can cause problems. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, can hear it sort of clicking, yeah. Right, so uh, I don't know if you can hear on the video, um, but it's it's a different sound entirely. So when Danny's gone down, yeah, we're going up and we can hear this nice click, smooth transition into the next gear. And when Danny's trying to move down a gear, we're hearing a kind of a crunching sound more than everything. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware what the sounds were, because it's difficult to make them out on this video. I mean, down, sorry. Right. Yeah, go again, sorry. And can it go again, or is that you hit your last? Right, so we seem to have a bit of issue in your... Is it your third? Gear down. Yep. I don't know about the edits. No, either not staying on properly or... So... Okay, so that was some diagnostics for you. So it does that. If I, if I push the, the gear lever all the way, it'll actually skip down multiple gears. Right. And I don't think I should do that, should it? Or should it? No, you usually not. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're pushing it and you keep pushing it, it will. If I push it, I mean, you can push it just for like one click. If you push it further, it'll, it'll go down there. Yeah. Um, I suppose if you're, you should only be pushing it enough to change one gear at a time. If right. you're pushing it past that, it will. Change further, so that's it. Um, now, if you have a look with this particular derailleur, if just round the back here, if you can see these two little screws here, that's the screws that adjust the derailleur. And one, usually the, the lower one, as you take it out or in, you will see the derailleur itself actually move slightly out or in. That's how you can, and uh, the top one will help adjust the height if we need to. Okay. Um, so let's have a look and see if it's clicking when it's, maybe it's not getting, it is quite far in actually, look at To me that looks quite far in, even for it's, yeah. it doesn't have to be that far over and tight to the wheel, I don't think. The issues have sort of been there since I got the bike. It was a second-hand bike, so... How long have you had it? 
Um, probably just under a year. Right. So you've been kind of you've been struggling with it for a wee while. Or? It's um, it's certain times. It's like when you're whacking up a hill and stuff. You you as the gears you you don't use them a lot of time, but when you're going to hit a hill or something, you want those low gears. Mm -hmm. And that can be problematic. That, that those are when you're going up a hill. Those are the gears you want to work properly without any issues. It's not like you can avoid hills around here, really, is it? Well, I try my best. Because <laughs> I have COPD, so... Stay down in the front, apart. yeah. Um, the, the only thing we trying to reset your derailer, uh, like this, it is a case of trial and error, so you'll, you'll shift wee bits and you'll have to then um, check it and then go back and bring it. That's Just why, I, I, when, when working, obviously, doing it as a job, having a stand is much more beneficial. Mm -hmm. But it's a time-consuming job and stuff. Mm -hmm. It can be. Um, so yeah, let's yeah, check yeah. this and we'll have a look and see how it's going now. If you want to just change it down like three or four or whatever. Uh, well, oh, sorry. Try going back up and see if we're still getting the clicking and stuff. It's not clicking there. Again. Up again, right? Up down again, sorry. Right. Oh, there you go. That wasn't exactly smooth enough. No, no, but I can have a wee and up again just to. Okay. So again, all the noises are different, guys. <laughs> I know it might be difficult for you to hear on the video. So, just changing into the. The second one up now, uh, then it's getting a wee bit of a, yeah. a push to get it in. So okay. again, the third one was we'll smoother that time. Yeah. Okay, so, so again, it's, we're it's on the right track. a case we'll just go of to adjust, check, adjust, check. Uh -huh. right. it, it, and don't let, be tempted to go too far, do it mm -hmm. small bits at a time. Because if you could go too far, you could knock it way off and then you're right back even worse than you, you were when you started. So. Yeah. Um, was Lucy telling me to turn the sound up? Sorry, everybody, everybody I'll try and talk speak up. up. <laughs> speak clearly, folks. Oh, try not to get my Thank hand you, Lucy. Sorry. And because you've commented now, Lucy, you are now in our draw to win a cycling helmet. There you go. Right, I'm going to try again and see. Like I say, it is a case of trial and error with this sort of. Right. You want to get in, oh. couple? Oh, up oh, there, uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, the guys are just going up and down the gears and they're trying to see the transition between those gears um, and Chris is adjusting the railer, is it? A um, little bit at a time and then they'll check it again um, and, and see if it's, if it's improved any. Trial and error, I believe it's called. So for anybody just tuning in or, or just starting to watch now, we've got Danny here with his bike that he's been having a wee bit of difficulty with for about a year now. It's a second-hand bike and he has some difficulty changing gears. So what Chris is doing here is uh, he's just seen how that difficulty is manifesting. And then he's making adjustments to something called the railer, which I know nothing about. Um, and right. then and he's seen if that's making it better. Uh -huh. Again. It certainly sounds better again. in this position, but. You want to try going back down again? Okay. No, that's still no. Not quite, but better. Mm -hmm. Alright. Right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll make it. Usually a case of trial and error with us, uh, you can think you've nearly got it and then you've just went. It could well be that we need to maybe it. spend a wee bit more time on the bike, Danny, and, mm -hmm. you know, sort of have a wee bit more of a look about it. But this is certainly the first thing that you would do to try and fix this problem. It is a fruitful job and it's why I, I didn't, because I don't know enough about it, that's why yeah. I didn't tackle it myself. Actually, like, yeah, you're right. The first thing you do about this problem is you call Chris. And you say, Chris, fix this. Most I can't. small wee 
problems on the bike I can handle, but mm -hmm. with the gears I just wouldn't try it. Right, let's have a try and see if we can get up on that one now. Did that jump up to or did you go up to? I don't know. We'll try <laughs> right, do you want to try to put it back down? And again? Or back up, sorry. Right. Uh, and down again? Still no coming up, still no. Mm. That's strange. So we may have run into a problem that we thought we could fix. Mm -hmm. And it might be going to take us a wee bit more, more thought. So really, is all you're doing adjusting those screws, and that's basically the tightness that you're adjusting? Or uh -huh. uh, as you move this bottom one in and out, it slightly adjusts the this, the derailleur itself, how it sits either in closer to the wheel or out, just slightly. Right. Yeah, I think I remember some. I think I remember them going on about this. When and we were uh, doing the cycling and this top one uh, can make it set. You know, it stays at a certain height, uh, and maybe it won't come too far up if it's mm -hmm. coming too far up as you change through gears, but um, again it's really just a case of trial and error because you, like, a lot of things you can't just tell by, by looking at it, you've got to mess around, try and find the, the, the right sort of setting. Would the stuff. height adjustment be more about keeping the right tension on the chain? It can be, aye, because uh, obviously that's what, if when you're changing gear, if this ends up sitting up like uh, too far out like that, your chain does yeah. get quite loose, mm -hmm. and, if it, and it, obviously you, it should sort of be sitting like that, and as you come down the gears, it will sort of come up here yeah, and so sit more comfortable to make it work all right properly along the gears. I seem to remember there being something wrong with a similar thing with Philip's bike or something like that, you could, couldn't get it fixed for ages. Well, let's have a try and see how it is, isn't it? Uh, if you want to go down, you've got to go up first, mate, and it's not quite enough on there yet. Right, there you go. Uh -huh. Did you go down one, eh? Yeah. Right, it's not changing there now. So still. Do you want to put it back to back up one, sorry, before okay. we stop? So we'll go right to the right. So that's it. Do you know what would have been a good idea, Chris? See mm -hmm. if you know, like those videos where they take somebody's bike and they like intentionally make it wrong, mm -hmm. so that you know exactly what's wrong with it, and mm -hmm. that you can like fix it within two seconds. That would be a really good idea, wouldn't it? I think they call that cheating. I think it's kind of the way this is turning it. Although this that's kind of the way we do our cookery ones, though. <laughs> it's one of those, how, you know, this is one we made earlier. Yeah. yeah, that's how we do the cookery ones. <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Right, we'll we try this again. So I found with my bike and any other bike that I, I usually work with, if you keep the chair, the, the chain in line, it usually, I don't know if that's, do you usually sort of cross your chain across the, the different sides? For example, mm -hmm. out here and across, the, like from here, out to... Well, it should be able to do that though. You should be able to use every gear on it. Uh, the only reason, yeah, but the only reason I, I, I say that is uh, from experience and from doing the cycle maintenance course I've done mm -hmm. uh, last year in order to do this job. Um, I was told by the guy who's a bit of a, a, a cyclist as well as a, a shop owner and bike yep. mechanic and stuff that you always sort of should keep your chain in line because if you cross it over there's more chance of your gears either catching jumping. or working or slipping, jumping, yep. all sorts. So I mean, that, that's it. I, I, mean, I would say if it was a, just a small rise, a small hill, then I might keep it in the top gear mm. at the front and just come down. If it was a steeper hill, then I would be more likely to, to bring that mm -hmm. other cog down mm -hmm. because you would need that, obviously, easier pedaling. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd, 
I know even going, like, for example, if you were up here, you're looking to be intentionally, if you're going to keep it straight in the sort of lower, the smaller cog here and nearer, a bit yeah, like these ones. You'd need to be but you would up Mount Everest to use that gear most of uh, the time. Well, uh, but changing up to that one, shouldn't it? But if you're crossing it right over, I don't know if that's... See, I usually wouldn't do that personally. Yeah. Uh, but... Again, we I mean, can try the front I get absolutely it. understand what you're saying, and mm-hmm. it does make sense. But uh, I'm not saying you can't do it because people. I mean, I, I, I they, put, they put they put these gears on it for for a reason, oh, I know. you know. Right, so. So it's entirely possible that we might be leaving you with this video and saying, well, we'll see what we can do with this bike this afternoon, <laughs> and let you know how we get on with it um, on Thursday. Just as well. We could, um, if you wanted, we could try bringing the other, bringing the front cog down and see how it changes. Well, there. It. well it was changing before, so. Yeah. It was changing before. It was. Yeah, so but I go in. Do you want to give it one more try just now, or just make another wee adjustment? Let's yeah. have a look and see yeah. if we've sorted down to. On four, is it? Or yeah, we should be right. Do you want to try going to the three? Uh, please. Sorry. Remember everybody to get in the draw for a, a free cycling helmet um, that will be taken at the end of the week. All you need to do is make a comment. Right. Ask yeah, a question. Right. Walk, Anything walk, you want. Okay, so we're, we're, right. can I like what's happening there is when you're going down a gear, it's coming down two gears. Is that right? Oh, it's not coming down at all. I'm not all right. <laughs> it's, it just seems to be with this uh, with this particular gear here. It's mm-hmm. not quite moving from there onto there. But when you go to the next gear, it's moving. Up, right. So, so we'll, yeah. We'll, okay. We'll so continue. there's 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 work to be done here. I d- uh, just to say, I did uh, say it was quite a fiddly trial and error. It sometimes mm-hmm. you're at it for a while, but when you get it. It's usually sorted it, so okay. I'll continue to see if I can sort this for Danny and hopefully she'll go home with his bikes and all sorted. Brilliant. So Thursday, we'll be back again on Thursday and hopefully we'll have, we'll have good news for you on Danny's great, bike. Uh, we will have Danny mobile. You, okay. can, you can let him know I didn't have to walk him. Yeah, 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 excellent. Um, and tomorrow we have um, we have Johnny doing his um, cupcakes tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock. So Chris will be back on Thursday. On Thursday, we should have Keith from the Enterprise Bothy here as Excellent. well to help and talk about uh, cycling in the local area and stuff. Yeah, and the, the Bothy can help. The Bothy are a fantastic resource for local cyclists and and you know people who are wanting to get into cycling as well. They're really good at supporting new cyclists or returning cyclists. Um, so it'll be really great to have uh, Keith here on yeah, Thursday. I, I've okay. been out with Keith and the guys at the Bothy quite a few times, and it was really good for helping my confidence on the road because I'd never really ridden on the road too much. Yeah. So that yeah. has been really good. Excellent. That's it. And did they help you with the route and stuff like that? Because I know uh, that I was talking about trying to get to work and they were offering me help they, to sort of figure did, out my route. They did do a wee bit of that. Um, they're also put, trying to put together a, 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 a resource, like a map with uh-huh. all the different cycling routes on it. Fantastic. So, uh, as far as I know, they've mostly got it together, but they've not got stuff printed out of that yet. You can ask them about that on Thursday. And can I just ask, just like a kind of final sort of, as a cyclist, is your primarily, are you, you know, are you using your bike just to get out, to get from A to B, or is it a leisure thing for you? Is it a combination of it's both? It's everything. Yeah. So yeah. exercise, you know, all sorts exercise of... Exercise, and do it since the lockdown and stuff, uh, because... As I said before, I've got COPD, so I've not really been too keen on getting on public transport. Fair enough, so yep. The bike's been really good. Fantastic, it's good to hear. Well, I hope Chris can get you mobile again, because it sounds like it's really an important okay. part of yeah. your, your week, you know, your day-to-day kind of thing. Okay, so, bye, everybody.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, we'll see you on Thursday. Bye.